Who is this guy? He's in all them dance movies. Chicks. I don't know who that is. Charlie Tatum. Oh, so gorgeous. I love him. <laughs> Son, we are in BFE. Nice house. This house, <laughs> this house, remember how I was complaining about them banks? I'm not taking work from anymore because they're paying the butt. Well, they sent me a couple of houses and I told them, no, I'm not doing it. You guys are bugging me. You're not paying. You yank them after I get them fixed up. You end up going to your bulk sales and all this other stuff. And I end up with nothing. And I just don't pay the bills anymore. So. They send me like two more houses and I say no, cause they're out in the, you know, they're in the projects or whatever. They send me this one and I say, okay. And I got no, no balls. You know why? Because hopefully this one won't go to bulk sale and I'll actually get a commission for it. Just cause I work for commissions, you know, doesn't mean I got money to burn. If we're not getting paid for this. We can't be doing it. Send me a good one. I'll b and I'll complain and I'll probably still take it cause I got kids to feed too. Oh. A little bit of stuff in here, not bad. Big old wind machine, huh? All right, this should be a nice house. Let's see what we got. Open some doors, take some pictures, do some reporting, and pray that these guys don't yank it after I've done everything. Oof, damn. Smells like a dead animal in here. We do have a full basement, huh? All right. I hit my head every house. How about this out your front door? Not bad, you know, not bad. It could be a whole lot worse. It's vacant, who knows how long it's been vacant. But I'll tell you what, the most important thing to do is get that sheriff's deed recorded, get this on the market and get it moved. Taking our time, trying to work things out. So right to work things out, but if it ain't gonna work out for the best of everybody, then you're just going into another default sooner or later. This is a nice house. This is a real nice house. I think it's only about seven years old. Just long enough to do a bunch of refis, pull a whole bunch of money out of it. Watch the market dump. We just knock them out one at a time, bang, bang. We'll do four houses today, get those on the market. There is quite a bit of stuff here starting to add up. We got like this futon and a few things in here. Who's this guy? He's in all them dance movies. Chicks. I don't know who that is. Charlie Tatum. Oh, so gorgeous. I love him. <laughs> and we are ready to go. Four bedrooms, two baths, uh, another half bath downstairs, and it sits on a full basement. Five and a half acres. Yeah, man. Newer construction. This is nice. This will make somebody a real nice house. You smell that? There's something nasty in here. Combat source killer. I don't know, they took the dishwasher, took the stove, took the fridge, and I would too. Damn, what is this thing? Is that a rowing machine? Damn. These things are like really expensive, aren't they? I don't know, man. I don't think this is really doing it for me. <laughs> you know what you can do? Hook this thing up to a generator and start producing some electricity. <laughs> That'd be some work in there. That's something I'd like to see. I want to put a windmill out in front of my house. That's the next big thing, I think. Start producing some energy. You probably end up making money off of it. Man, this is, that's an energy producer there, buddy. Huh? You think any one of these farmers around here is gonna care that this house sold for maybe a little bit less than what they paid for? Heck no. They're gonna be glad it's sold and there's somebody living in it now. Cause that helps everybody's values. Sitting around, doing nothing, taking longer in a declining market, <clears throat> that ain't helping nobody. Listen to this. I think right now it's like three out of every four people who did a loan modification the first quarter of 08 is already in default. Three out of four. Now, is that a fault of the people who uh, occupy the properties, or is that just 
What is that? You answer the question. What is that? If you've got a 75% failure rate on these loan modifications, then what's the answer? Why are we doing that? Is that a good idea? Are we spreading it out over a longer period of time to kind of make the landing a little smoother in our housing crisis? Or is it making it worse? Or is the bank just trying to get as much money as they can for as long as they can until they go ahead and sell it? because we're in a declining market right now, your house value is not gonna go up. So if we modify your mortgage and take your 30 year mortgage and spread it out over 40 years and take your six and a half percent interest rate and take it down to four and get you a payment you can afford, you're still underwater, okay? So if you're still underwater, are you gonna be making improvements, maintenance and updates on your property? Or are you gonna think, well, I'm just gonna live in here until you know, eventually I'm gonna end up losing it? Or are you gonna hope that the market's gonna have this huge recovery and you're gonna make up all that distance. So people are now are starting to make the decision that now they found a little time, the banks have gotten a little more money out of them on a monthly basis, and now they're maybe they're able to make a better decision and get on their feet and move on out and get back on their feet and moving forward in something that they can't afford that's actually priced according to the market value. Because when I was in the business, okay, I used to be in loan servicing in the default department. The best loss mitigation results that we could get in a good appreciating market was about a 66% success rate. So 33%, one third of the, of the uh, people that we modified their loans ended up back in default again anyway, okay? So it's more like 40%. But now we're in a declining market. So even though they agree to make the payments now, the house is still going down they have less options and less abilities to sell their house and get out of trouble. It seems to me we're just keeping the pipeline full and we got a lot of job security here in the REO world. And uh, that's what we're gonna be doing for the next five years. We've got plenty of work. As soon as we start moving this volume through, the longer it takes, the worse it gets. Tell us what you think about that subject, you know, as far as these uh, modifications, the real estate market as a whole. Go right down to the comment section on the video here and uh, leave a comment of what you think. If you think I'm full of crap, go ahead, say it. If you think I'm actually making some sense and if you really look at it, uh, it's a, it actually makes more sense, go ahead and say it. But let's see what, what you guys think because in my opinion, we're not getting the real story out of here in the mainstream media. Who owns the mainstream media that we're seeing on TV every day? Who owns the bank? Who owns the Congress? Who owns the laws? Who has all the lobbyists? Okay, so do you really think you're gonna get an even story? The best thing we got going right now is we got the internet. So we can come out here and we can really show you what's going on and what these places look like, talk about what's going on in the market and let you guys respond and give us your opinion. Because it looks to me like the longer it takes, the worse it gets. So why are we trying to spread this out when we should be focusing on getting busy and getting through this process and that way we'll find a more solid secure floor to the market sooner it seems that way to me because if we continue to artificially prop up values we're not going to find a true floor and until we find a true floor we're not going to be able to start making progress forward so just tell us what you think maybe maybe i'm wrong but uh i doubt it <laughs> i doubt it after all i don't i'm not i'm not the guy with all the with all the letters behind his name, I'm the guy out here that actually has to see it for what it really is. What it is, is it gets worse the longer it takes. That's what it is. So let's get on it, people. Let's move it. We got plenty of work to do. Somebody gets a good deal, right on. Let them have a good deal. They deserve a good deal. Amen.